Let's talk about hunting in Torah. Hey everybody, it's Zach again at new2torah.com. Wanted to come in, make another video today about hunting. What is this I'm holding here? This is my Hoyt Katera bow. I uh, go hunting with this. Uh, I haven't really killed anything with it yet. I just got this about a year ago, and uh, even though I've tried, every time I've tried to go hunting with it, it just didn't work out right, uh, work out well. But um, this year, I'm, I'm hoping to catch a turkey uh, in my backyard. There's usually deer and wildlife in my backyard, and so I usually keep the bow handy during the hunting season so that if I see a deer or if I see a, a turkey in my backyard, uh, I will take a shot at it, and I am pretty accurate with this bow. I've gotten, um, I've never been able to take a shot at something yet before, uh, but if I do uh, <laughs> get a chance, I'm almost positive that I'll hit it. I'm very accurate with it, and it's a very good boy, bow. It's a Hoyt Katera, 100%. Uh, it was brand new when I got it, uh, so I'm looking forward to breaking it in proper. Anyway, is it? What does the Bible say about hunting? What does the Torah say about hunting? Listen, there are some people out there who have just gone overboard with kosher laws. Kosher laws do not appear in the Bible, okay? These things, most of these are all man-made rabbinical tradition that have absolutely no place in the Torah. For example, let me give you an example here. I found this on the internet. Uh, it was written by a rabbi. Um, food preparation, kosher slaughter. It says animals must be slaughtered in accordance with Jewish ritual by a shohet kosher slaughterer with a precise understanding of the complex laws, which are not found in the Torah, governing sheheta slaughtering in order to qualify as kosher. The kill must be made by slicing across the esophagus and jugular with a perfectly smooth blade in order to cause instant death without pain to the animal. For this reason, animals killed by hunting are not acceptable. Thus, while a deer may be kosher if raised on a farm, it is not permissible to eat a deer that has been killed while hunting. Guys, this is absolutely 100% um, overboard. And this is man-made tradition, man-made doctrine, man-made written Babylonian Talmud. This has no place in the Torah, and I can prove it 100% by Scripture. Turn in your Bibles, or you don't have to turn in your Bibles because I'm about to show you on your screen. Leviticus 17.13 and whatsoever man there be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, which hunteth and catcheth any beast or fowl that may be eaten, he shall even pour out the blood thereof and cover it with dust. It says right here, hey, listen, if you're a man of children of Israel and you hunt and catch a beast or fowl that may be eaten, then just pour out the blood. That's your rule. And we know previously it also says don't eat the fat. It can't, it's not that hard. If you shoot an animal, is it okay to shoot an animal? Absolutely, it's okay to shoot an animal. Pour out the blood. Don't drink the blood. Don't eat the fat. Simple rules. It says don't ever eat the fat. Don't ever drink the blood. Over and over again it says this. That's it. Does it have to be killed in a prescribed manner? Absolutely not. This was something that was used for the sacrifices. And the only reason it says that is because, I mean, listen, you try bringing an ox to be sacrificed and killing it with a dull knife. It's, it's going to be a messy, a messy job and probably somebody's going to get killed. You're trying to kill an ox with a dull knife. You kill an ox with a sharp knife in order so that it doesn't even know this, that the throat has been cut and it just falls asleep right then and there and the blood falls out. It's that simple. You know, that's all, the, that's all there is to this. Um, it doesn't give any prescribed manner or any complex laws to kill an animal, you know, to be eaten. Listen, God has already given us in Leviticus 11 the animals which may be eaten. Here, it's just saying, listen, if you go hunting, don't keep the blood. Don't keep the fat. That's it. Simple. Anybody who tells you otherwise, who says we don't eat animals unless it's a kosher kill, that's un unbiblical. It's un-Torah. I hear this a lot. I hear this from a lot of people who I respect, a lot of teachers. And I'm just going to tell you right here, I mean, this we know that you could hunt in the Bible. It says this right here in Leviticus, Leviticus 17. I've actually even looked up the Hebrew to make sure there wasn't a misunderstanding. This was absolutely 100% uh, a, a rule and instruction on keeping uh, Torah uh, by hunting. Just don't drink the blood. Don't eat the fat. And let's talk about something else. Does this mean you can't... Um, uh, you have to make your steak, you know, charcoal in order for it to be eaten. Well, <laughs> listen, part of that beef that I get, 
I, when I have a steak thawed out from my freezer downstairs, I bring it up. It thaws out in the fr- in the fridge for a day, and it's ready to go. In the bag, in the in the vacuum bag, is accumulated a lot of blood from when it thawed out. I take that blood and I pour it down the drain. It goes into my septic out in the backyard, uh, which is underneath the ground, and that water. Uh, the water from my from my septic leaches out and under the ground, so basically it's been covered by dirt. So I have uh, accomplished that Torah instruction to pour out and cover it with with dirt. It's now in the dirt, and that's what you should be doing. But does that mean I have to barbecue my steak until it's charcoal? That's crazy. No, absolutely not. Cook it cook it medium rare if you want. Cook it medium. Uh, cook it medium well. It's it's not it's it's not making putting a burden on your meat there's nothing that says you have to cook your meat until there's no redness or no pink you know inside the meat anymore you're never going to get all of your meat all the blood out of your meat unless you cook it to be charcoal and then it's not very good at that point i mean who wants to eat a, a charcoal piece of meat um guys let's just be honest here let's not go overboard let's not burden ourselves with a bunch of uh instructions that can't be kept it's obvious. Don't drink the blood. You get a bunch of blood in the animal, put it on the ground, cover it with dust. You know, it doesn't mean have, doesn't mean you have to cook your steak until it's it's charcoal. It doesn't say that anywhere. So guys, we just need to be careful that sometimes we've come out of Christianity and we run so fast into learning our Torah and our Hebrew roots that we sometimes take on instructions that people have made up without actually researching it for ourselves. Paul says, test everything, test everything, and hold on to that which is good. So. When someone tells you that you have to eat kosher uh, prescribed food and you, know, you can't hunt, well, okay, I would take that teaching and I'll test it against the Torah and I'll throw out and hold on to that which is good. Very simple. Very, very simple. Anyway, I hope that uh, helps. Uh, turkey season starts tomorrow. I'm going to try to get me a turkey. And uh, if I do, I'll make a video about it and share it with you. Other than that, uh, that's it. Go home. Read your Bible. All right, thanks.